Welcome to Simply Jan Homestead. Today, we're going to can dilly beans, and I'm going to show you how. I am so surprised, and I don't know why, but there's so many people that don't know what dilly beans are. They are a pickled green bean. And I'm gonna show you how I make them. They are delicious, refreshing, fabulous. So if you haven't made them, follow along. I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through this process. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna use is Mrs. Wages kosher dill pickle spice. And I'm just gonna put that in there. And then you're gonna need three and a third cups of white, oops, wrong one, white vinegar, 5% of acidity, acidity, and then seven and a third cups of water. And we're just gonna mix that up. I like to use a wooden spoon. I don't know that it matters. I've got my jars heating up in the water bath canner. And that's another reason I love this recipe because I can water bath it. So I'm going to show you what I do. I'm using Mrs. Wages. Now you can use your own pickling spice. You make your own, that's fine. Um, I dehydrated these peppers and I like to stick a couple. There's poinciata, there's jalapeno, there's hot banana peppers. And then I put a sprig of dill in there from the garden. Everything here is from my garden, except the green beans. Some are from my garden but I had to go buy them because my green beans weren't producing enough. I have my lids in the water, my jars heating up. So let me get a jar out and I'll show you how I pack the jars. So what I do is turn the jar sideways and you just stick your beans in there. If they're too long, break them. You know, you don't want them too high. You don't want them too low. And I just, Stick them in there. Make sure you've taken the stems off. That one wasn't off. And you can just pack them in there. And uh, if there's any spots on them that are bad, you want to cut those spots off. This one may be too big. Nope, fits in there perfectly. So you can use wide mouth jars. You can use the regular mouth jars. I have a little of each. And um, right about here, I'm going to add a jalapeno and a couple poinciata peppers and a hot banana. So I'm just going to throw those in there, a couple on each side. And I need more green beans. There you go. I have them in a bowl in the kitchen and the sink. And I, you want to, you can pack them in there pretty good, y'all. So don't be afraid about that. And these are different beans. Um, I brought some kayaking with us, and they were terrible. I don't know what happened to that pack, but they were not good. So... Uh, now I can stand it up and just stick the rest of the beans in there and as my brine heats up then I can funnel it into the jar but you'll see I've got them I've got them packed in there pretty tight and you get a good amount for each jar and uh, 
they are a delicious snack to have when you're picnicking or you can even put them on a salad I mean they're so good okay I think I have enough in there so I'm gonna add a little dill sprig and a flower head because they're just so beautiful we'll break that one apart put that in there and I think I'm gonna put another pepper in there I love the red you can use the red jalapenos too that one was a little big so we're gonna take that off so let me get this uh, brine heated up and I'll bring you back and show you where to pour it okay so we're gonna pack these a half inch head space they're packed pretty full the brine is ready to go so let's get this ladled into the jars be careful with your eyes and nose over any pickling brine because it is strong and just pack that a half inch So you're going to cook these pints for 10 minutes and what you'll do is bring that to a boil and take your ladle or whatever you use and get the air bubbles out and follow all your guidelines for canning please it's very important there's a reason that they're there probably because someone screwed up and you know did something wrong so let's see that's a large mouth I can turn those off on the new lids they tell you you don't have to um, you don't have to heat them up but I do it's just a habit so we're gonna take that and we're gonna put that in the canner and we're just gonna keep repeating the process until all these are filled I have, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pints. And if I need more brine, I have, an, I have more packets. There's my half inch. There we go. All righty. Well, I'm going to get these into the canner and uh, then I will show you the rest of the process. This is so easy. If you like pickles, you'll probably like dilly beans because it's so, so similar. And they hold their crisp and with the the hot peppers in there it just adds a little kick to it and y'all know I like I like a little spice on my stuff so but it really does look beautiful just work and make sure you get all those air pockets out Get it all and I would just like to dry off my lid a little bit on the bottom because that's what I do doesn't that look pretty that looks so pretty let's get it over here in the light there we go I don't know why my lights not working very well over there that looks so pretty all right y'all I'm gonna load this up and we'll be back. I ran out of brine. I needed about that much more. 
in my last pint. So I have nine pints in the canner. We're going to bring that to a boil. And after it starts boiling, 10 minutes and we're done. And I'm going to do something different. I'm using my stock pot to can. I figure I have maybe three or four more pints I can do. So I'm going to use my stock pot and do use that to can. And just FYI, if you have leftover brine, you could put that in a canning jar and keep it in your refrigerator for up to one week. Don't throw it away. The first can is done, water bath. And right now I'm just scooping the leftover brine because I did have to make another pack. I have two more minutes on the stock pot and then those will be done. Now, when you lift up the lid to your canner, if you're a new canner, always lift it away because you see that steam and leave it crack and let just let it sit for a few minutes. It's not going anywhere. Just let it sit. So I should have enough brine for my okra. Because I don't have a lot of okra, but it's coming on. And uh, I have some picked. So that's exciting. I'm not going to worry about wiping that lid because it's going in the fridge. Huh, may have to quart. Okay, let me change, change this around. I'll be right back. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me can dilly beans. And even more so, I hope you try this recipe with the Mrs. Wages, it's so super easy. It's so delicious. It's not salty at all. And uh, that's why I love using it. But give it a shot. Don't be afraid. Can it pints? 10 minutes. I forgot the quarts. I, the quarts are 15, 15 minutes. That's all you need. And you could just do it in your stock pot if you don't have a can or don't get all hung up on it. You know, it's all good. Hey, y'all, be blessed and love well. And if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe. It's free. Yes, it's free. Bye now. I'm going to sit you here while we wait for the pop. I just heard one. Just like to check my lids and make sure they're still tight. They're hot. Do you know when you boil water? that it becomes distilled water and you can can that. Just put it in the can in a jar and stick it away for, you know, maybe you might need it one day. <laughs>